gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Malibu <laughs> Nights <laughs> with your hosts, HB <laughs> and Trashly. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh <laughs> it's falling off. Okay. So. <laughs> Here Technical we difficulties. <laughs> Here we are. Oh, God. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> are you going to make it over there? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, we got... <laughs> 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 oh, no. We got... Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Wheezy. I can't... Shit. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. We got a lot to talk about today. Um, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> start, of course, by making a beverage. Mm-hmm. What's this beverage today? Well, today we're talking about a lot of reality TV. Oh my gosh! Oh yes, you don't we, say. We love it. Uh, so today we're making the boo boo tea. Oh shoot! We're spilling it. The tea. Mm, I All can't of the wait. hot This is gods. one of my favorite topics. Oh, my gosh. So we got a lot of pure life tea up in front mm-hmm. of us here. We got flavors. We got sweetened. Uh, we got lemon, lemon, raspberry, and sweet tea. I yeah. think we should try... Should we just try the normal, like, like sweet, sweet tea? tea? I like it. Or I like it. We'll really give it... Let's Jones give it a, about that raspberry, but I'll We'll wait. do the ras next. Razzle dazzle. So we're going to start with ice over here. Ice whore is going to get her rice. Yep. Oh, first bottle of boo. Oh. We love that. Heavy. Get your, get your paws out of there. What did you say to me? <laughs> oh, sh- oh God. It's good. I vacuumed no, there today. No cat. You did what? You heard me. You mean you don't pay cleaners like Craig does? Oh, uh, we'll get into that. <laughs> I feel like that's good. Night, night. What? It's barely even. Typically, we used to fill the here. You know that. Mm. We've really pulled back. We've we found us a uh, uh, calm. Our calm. Yeah. I don't think so. Where's the lid? What are we starting with? Sweet tea. Sweet tea. Where's like lemon? Like an original. Is there a song about sweet tea? No, I don't think so. Maybe sweet tea chicken pie. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what he says? No. <laughs> yeah, isn't that the song? <laughs> A little chicken, bit of chicken, chicken fried. fried. Cold beer. beer on a Friday night. Did I say sweet tea? Sweet tea yeah. on a Friday night. Yeah, we do sweet That's tea the... or lemon? Sweet what tea. What is like the normal? Or do one of us do one and one does the other and then we can just taste test it so we get through all of them? I'll do the sweet tea. Which one are you doing? Raspberry? I've been just I feel jonesing. like that's the one I'm going to love. I got to taste a little sip. So we heard that this is this is good. Tea and boo-boo. So... Not that she reminds me of. Huh. My grandma always used to make like tea out on the deck, like she'd put it in something. Put Sun the tea. tea? Bakes. Yes, and it would just they sit on the deck, and then did your grandparents? Ever no, do that? but we That's used what, to have a. That's what this reminds me of a container that yes. had like the recipe on it. Yeah, they would Sun do that. tea. That's great. So pure life. What's the deal with this stuff? Us. Oh. Oh. That's the deal with that stuff. There's lots of sugar in oh, that one. Forty-six percent or grams. Both. <laughs> right? Oh shit. Yep, 46 grams and 46 grams added sugar. 91%. This has 42 mm. and it's 84%. Well, cheers to us having yeah. all the sugar Who that cares, we don't need. Right? At least it's tea. <gasps> What'd you I do? I spilled the tea. Already? <laughs> oh sh. Okay. Cheers. What's our word? Oh my gosh. Did you tell me already? I think the word is bravo. Ugh. No? Did you try it already? Mm. <laughs> I haven't even. <laughs> we barely even said the word and All you I were on. Is... <laughs> oh shit. I'm here for this one. Oh! Oh! Give me a straw, please. Get two. You can try one mine and I'll you, try yours. One for me. Which one was mine? It's yours. I don't know which one. Yeah, you can tell. Oh! I like it! I'll be spilling the tea all week! 
Oh my gosh, you don't like it. Do you like iced tea? Though? I don't, but it's not. Right. That could be why. But I didn't mind the drink. Mine is way better than yours. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got flavoring in yours. Mine's just a tea. I like it. I'm here for it. We'll be pissing like rabbits. You just say to me why. I don't know. Tea Does makes tea you make pee, you piss? doesn't it? <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. Piss? <laughs> That'll do that to you. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Don't laugh too hard. I might piss my pants. <laughs> <laughs> don't do it. No, I won't do Not it. Yet. No, no, no. Not <laughs> Oh, God. All right, well, I'm losing bravo my stash. this. Why are we talking about bravo? bravo. Why is that our word? Because we're talking about all things reality TV today. I mean, so much. But before we get into that, mm. we got to get into our own personal reality uh, and, and talk about what we did this week that was uncomfortable, seeking discomfort. I feel like I always go first, so it's your turn. Okay. Uh, this week, I did a lot of uncomfortable physical labor. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I thought I was going to blow my hernia. Hmm. I was like, it could happen you at any moment. You know what they moment. say. If you have a hernia, you should go get it checked. Okay. Who are you, <laughs> auntie? <laughs> Jesus. No, uh, but you know how that shot pain in my stomach that goes down to my wee-wee <laughs> comes every once in a while? And pee-pee? Yeah, yeah, right on my, right on my weenus. Uh, <laughs> so it didn't come up, well... Last week when I did physical labor, it kind of did, and I laid down for a minute like this, <laughs> and just didn't, Maybe. and just didn't breathe really heavy, uh, and then it went away. And then this last time, I really thought because I was lifting some heavy stuff, mm. big branches, a big tabletop that was like easily four hundred pounds. I really thought I was gonna blow. Maybe, um, you should do more manual labor or get it checked. I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe I just haven't been doing enough crunchies. I mean, I don't. That's fine, though. But nothing's, like, protruding. So that's a good sign, I feel like, right? That's a good sign, I think. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. My appendix kind of hurt the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I know mine is not that. Okay? Because it's, like, right here. You still have your appendix? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I ever got that removed. Unless it <laughs> happened on a blackout night or something. I right? think you'd have a scar. Yeah, like Unless right they here. can remove it like from your belly button now. I don't know what they do. Oh, my tubes. God. Could you imagine if that's what it was this whole time? I just blacked out one night and then no. someone stole my appendix Maybe. through my belly button. Yes. <laughs> that would be really messed up. Oh. I would not be happy about that. But oh my <laughs> what? What is it? What is it? <laughs> I, just want I don't think that's how they take it out. Uh, anywho, no, so I did a lot of physical labor, lots of yard work. It was like I was at prison working in the yard. Um, but it was good. It was fun. I felt good. I burned like over a thousand calories, 1500 calories a day. Uh, so I felt good about it. Well, you go. That's awesome. I'm so proud of you getting out there doing that uncomfortable thing. Yeah, because typically I'm not the one. No, don't don't ask me. To do anything I can't like believe that. It. Uh uh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a video of you working. Yeah. No. Oh my gosh. We I was be... busy. I, I couldn't film nothing. No. But there was a... I couldn't film nothing. <laughs> there was a moment. <laughs> these when... buds, they don't was... film nothing. Because like it was you. with my dad, right? So we were trimming these branches. And he's like, what if we cut this one like right back here? And I'm like, that's a big branch. That comes down and hits me in the head. I'm going to have a concussion. And my mom was dying laughing at me when I said, it. oh, shit. <laughs> my mom was dying. She, been videoing she was laughing at me. And she said that so many times. I, I knew I should have been videoing. I said, you should have just did it. Okay? Because I said, that thing comes crashing down on my head. I'm going to have a concussion. And I'm not going to be happy. And dad still just cut it anyway. And guess what happened? It fell right on. <laughs> it fell right on him. On your dad? Yeah. Oh no. On the ladder, he was cutting, and it fell on him. And I'm like, "Oh my god, he's going down!" I said, "I told you, I told you, this was gonna happen." And then he he's carrying some stuff, and then all of a sudden, I see all this blood, and it's just dripping down his no. arm. He sliced himself For real? with the tree, oh, and no. I go, "Oh my god, you look like freaking Rambo! What happened to you out there?" <laughs> Got in a fight with the tree. Yeah, jeez, the the tree did fight back. 
Oh no. But I think he's on blood thinners, so maybe that did it. Oh my god. You get gosh. sliced and diced and then you just bleed out. But yeah, it was a good time. That's good. I'm glad you did that. Yeah. I feel like I had so much to tell you about the uncomfortable things I did, but now I can't think of a god dang one. Oh. I mean today when I went to the grocery store. Oh my god. We checked out there was this thing on the what do you call that? On the belt. The check out belt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> belt. And the the cashier was like, Oh yeah, come on up. So we put our stuff down. Yep. Rang it up, but then he rang up the other thing, the random thing that the other customers yeah. left up there. Ironically, it was a box of tea, tea. And, and we were buying tea. <laughs> we get in the car, and Boo Boo over here goes, did we buy this? And I'm like, no. Sure enough, it's on our receipt. We paid so for it. I'm like, I'm Con- going back. Confession, though. I saw it before we walked out the door. Oh. I knew it was in that bag. Why didn't you tell me? Because I just thought it was free. Okay, well, anyways, I go do something uncomfortable every day. Let's go. So I went back in. I hate doing that stuff. I normally would have kept it yeah. and not done it. But I'm like, four bucks? I'm getting my four bucks back. Yeah, Jesus. And That's a lot for some tea. tea. It wasn't mine. And um, so I went back in. And, and the guy who was like, buying it was sitting in his car, and his friend was in there. Yeah, I go, he would have been pissed if he came out without his tea. <laughs> yeah, I go in, and I'm just like, I didn't buy this, sir. So he refunded me, and then the bro that really bought it was like, how you been? And I'm like, <laughs> in, my head, in my head, I'm thinking, do I know you? Have I met you? But I answered him like I knew him. I'm like, I've been good. How about you? He's like, good. Oh, I couldn't shit. wait to get the heck out of there. And you're just sitting out in the car watching me like, I'm just chucking along. I'm just loving it. And then oh, I guess Everett did something uncomfortable. She's learning from us. Oh, what'd she do? We're at the pizza place on Saturday. Okay. And there were some leftovers, and I said, can you go get me a box, ever? And she goes, no. And uh-huh. I'm like, hey, what do me and Hunter always say? Do something uncomfortable every day. And so she went up there, and she did it. Did she I was, scoff at all? Was she, uh, I don't remember. She go, probably did. I mean, whatever. But little, she did uh, it, and I was so proud of her. Oh, my gosh. Something uncomfortable every day. I'm so proud of her. There are some other things. I feel like I did a lot of uncomfortable things. You went things through a car week. wash again. With you. But I was there. And I had almost a panic attack. I played the song, working at the car wash. And then, I just feel like I've done some more uncomfortable things, but. Yeah. I got to call the doctor again and reschedule an appointment, and that gives me very much so anxiety, oh my too. Gosh. I hate doing it. Uh-uh. Why? Why do I hate it? Same reason why I haven't been since I was a child. I don't hate, when I'm there, I don't hate it. Oh, I, I don't either. I just calling in and being like, oh, I need to reschedule. Oh. I just don't want to go, so I just don't. <sighs> well, that's where I'm at. That's my uncomfortableness. I know there was more, but I'm not going to be able to think of it. Yeah. By the time this aired, I would have already gotten my wisdom tooth out. I haven't yet. I do that tomorrow, as of now, filming. So that'll be interesting and uncomfy. I can't wait to hear all about it. I'll have a pocket in my mouth. It's going to be so great. But anyway, Bravo to us. Yes. For doing something Bravo. Mm. Shoot. Are you going to tell the people why you're dressed how you are yet? Yes, we are. Because today we're talking all about reality TV. Oh, my favorite. Which includes Bravo. Which is Andy Cohen's reality TV channel world. I don't even know how to explain what Bravo is. I love you. Oh, who doesn't? He's great. Everything you've done. He really is great. And. You know, I always used to just know him as the guy who hosted the New Year's Eve thing with, uh, what's his face? Anderson Cooper. Anderson Cooper. Mm -hmm. And now, like, I'm enthralled into the Bravo world. Oh, it's it's my favorite world to be in. That's my happy place, you know? Like, that's my, when I'm, like, sad or... Is that Vegas? Well, when I can't go to Vegas, I can't go there every time I'm sad, but if I could, that'd be, I will someday. Yeah. Um... I turn on my Bravo and I'm just happy. My housewives oh. and lately summer house. Yes. The housewives are my like your go to. Like I save it. Like it's the last oh. at night. Like everybody's in bed. I'm like, oh my gosh, like I this watch. is for me. <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch my housewives. No this interruptions. Is, this is for Don't me. Don't talk to me. So. Um but yeah, I'm dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> with the stash and the goatee and the the lightning bolt necklace, the shirt unbuttoned, all of it. Mm-hmm. Not because I I like this person, 
But because he is, he's very much so a hot topic in the news, and he's easy to dress like. I don't know what that's saying about me. <laughs> that you're easy? <laughs> no, he is. Uh, hence why he's been in so many affairs. Uh, no, but I am dressed like Tom Scandival himself. Tom Sandoval. Um, I've never watched that one. Confession. Vanderpump. So that's on my list. That's on my list of... <sighs> so know, much has happened in the last year. Yeah, getting through show. the franchises of um, Housewives, that's an yeah. undertaking. Yeah. And I'm almost done. I just have one franchise left. But I don't think you have to watch all of Vanderpump that's to get it. That's what you said, yep. Because I haven't. <laughs> and you just got it. And I just get it. Like, I've seen a lot of random episodes, and, like, I, I, I've I watched a lot of recap things, and then this last season is a big recap in itself of everything that's happened. But short, long story short, Tom cheated on his girlfriend of 10 years Ugh. with his girlfriend's best friend, Raquel, Rachel, Levis, whatever the frig her name is, whatever, uh, cheated on... Mm -hmm. Ariana with Raquel and just this whole thing happened. Ariana with Raquel. Yeah. So Ariana was oh, his girlfriend yep, of 10 yep, years okay, who yep. he cheated with on his past girlfriend, Kristen, crazy Kristen, back in the day. So once a cheater, always a cheater. I mean, this, should, is yeah. his, this is his pattern. Like I know Ariana. somebody like that that lives in this town. Oh. Once a cheater, always a cheater. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Yeah, mm -hmm. well, they they don't change. They don't change. They don't. No. So if you're hoping for them to change, they just won't. No. It's a pattern. Yep. Unfortunately, it's a mental s sickness. Mm -hmm. uh, but no, I'm dressed like that cheating son of a bitch, Tom Sandoval. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm wearing the mustache because during the latest uh, reunion. Mm -hmm. Uh, James Kennedy, who is on the show, he's a DJ. He's British. He says, Mr. "You worm." He calls he calls he calls Tom a worm because of the stash and stuff. Oh my gosh! So this is my worm here. He also says, "Doo doo head." Oh, that's both cute. of you, doo doo heads. Why would why? Why what? Are we five? Uh, James is kind of yeah. Mm. <laughs> He's super immature, but uh, I don't love that. People have grown to love James in this last season. He mm -hmm. said they're saying that he's one of the top guys okay. on the show. Okay, but I am gonna have to take this off because okay. it's really your worm has fallen off. Yeah, and there's spit on it. Oh, uh -uh. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, is there marker on my face? No. Good. You're okay. Um. So yeah, I am dressed as Tom Scandable. And I like we'll, it. we'll talk a little bit more probably about that later on. But, uh, bravo. I'm not really dressed like anything. I just have my housewife shirt. Oh, my gosh. Who's on there? Kyle Richards. You know, she's... That's Kyle? Yep, that's Kyle. Oh, shoot. And then Taylor Armstrong, which she's the first housewife. She was in Beverly Hills, and she's now in, in the OC franchise. So she's oh. the first one to jump to different franchise. Is that fresh, like, her fresh, jumping? Fresh, just oh, this year. Oh, shit. Yep, she's on that OC now. So... That's funny. I never knew who I've seen this meme. I know a billion times, and then the cat is typically on yep. the meme with them. So nope, Kyle and Taylor. What's going on in that moment there when they're? I oh she's I can't remember, and they just like, they show it. That's so bad. She's yelling at somebody about obviously something. We yeah. have to look it up. Oh my god! And I the love fact it. that I don't know that that makes me mad. Well, it'll all come back to me. It's all coming back. It's all coming. So yeah, that's I didn't. Get the memo to dress up like a. No, it wasn't a memo. This was just a choice. I don't I know, have I'm a housewives. I knew I said I'll wear my. You could wear your disengaging. I don't have a. Is that a? Yeah, that's. Uh, um, who says that? Um, I'm disengaging. Uh, Salt Lake City, <gasps> Meredith. Oh my god! She I goes, never knew. I'm disengaging from this. Yes, that's oh why I got god. that. Oh my god! I love that. An auntie shirt that says "Get off my jock." Yeah, that's I know Bethany. That. Bethany, New York. Uh, I say "Get off my jock" a lot, yeah, and I didn't even know. I don't have any housewife saying shirts. Like I need to get one. You gotta get some graphic tees with that. <sighs> Melissa Shoot. Gorga, that's what I need. So yeah, I'll get one once we're done here. I'm gonna look it up. So what do we start with? Okay, so we're know. gonna cover Most a lot of recent, things. I think we should start with. Um, yeah, that's. <laughs> Night night. Um, summer house. Summer Winter house. Because that's I feel like when I'm watching. Yeah. And you so watch we're it. gonna try and cover some things outside of Bravo, but mostly we're talking about Bravo today. And Summer House is this tit show on Bravo yep. that has been going on for seven seasons. Yeah. And 
uh, it just came into my life a couple months back, you know, and I've mm-hmm. I've seen all of it. You're just like a I season. Like, yep, winter to go. house season two, and then summer house the last that season seven, I guess, if that's all that there is. Yeah, and uh, I don't know why I hadn't heard of this show mm-hmm. because it's very much so like. What would you compare it to? Like Jersey Shore, uh, Real World? Like what? Like yeah, maybe Jersey Shore. It's I don't know ish. Basically, yeah, all Jersey of Jersey Shore slash Laguna Beach. Slash, yeah, I don't know all those. Like basically, all these people like rent a summer house yeah. together, uh, and they live out there in Montauk in New York or whatever. They all work mm-hmm. in New York City, and then go out to their summer house every weekend. Ugh. Honestly, the first few seasons, just parties, drunk chaos, mm-hmm. hilarious drama infused, just like so good. Those first, Ugh. those first, honestly, probably four seasons are just iconic. They're just wasted all the time. And there's a lot of people in the first two seasons that I can't stand. You know, that's funny I, how when I would talk about that and you guys were like, who are those people? Now I'm like, who are they again? Yeah. No, I can barely remember, but there were the twins. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh yeah, don't remember their names. <laughs> wasn't a- was it Ashley? Was one no. Ashley was and Lindsay? No, no, Lindsay's still there. Ashley Ugh. and I don't remember the other one. Couldn't stand them. Mm-hmm. It was just too much drama and like unnecessary drama. Yeah. Where it was like, okay, you're being very, very dramatic. And how they always got the master bedroom. I'm like, okay. Oh, oh, congratulations, you're twins. Uh-huh. Bye bye. Suck a fat one. Uh, uh no, they were annoying. She throws a cake in Carl's face, which was entertaining, but also not Didn't necessary. Didn't she throw a watermelon? That too. Uh, the, the twin the threw twin, a watermelon yep. in the hall, all angry. I don't know like, what she thought she was gonna do with Carl. Like you're not he's no. Clearly he wasn't invested in that relationship. No. Anybody could see that with eyes, but she really thought she was uh, something. She special. was gonna rein the beast in. Yes, and then their friend, uh, what was his name? Uh, oh my gosh! J- yes, the little the, like Carl. They were like friends. Yeah, they were, they the were bros. Uh, was it like Jimmy James? James? J- I don't remember. Oh, no. But yeah, I, I liked him, and then I didn't. I know I liked him until yeah. probably season two. Yeah, and then and I he was never like, came mm-hmm. back. What's he nope, doing? He's done. He was done after that season. I gotta look him up after this. See what he's doing. Yeah. Uh, no. But no, those first few seasons, so much drama. There is actually a Vanderpump girl in season one. Do you remember in the hot tub with yes, Carl yes, or yes. with Kyle? Lala? Lala? No, it was Lala. Stassi. Stassi, that's right. So Stassi's there and uh, Kyle invited her. Couldn't remember her name yeah, or something. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, said she looked like Steve Jobs in the yep. swimsuit she was wearing, which is so funny now because I've seen all of this Vanderpump stuff. Yep. But I saw Summer House before that. But Kyle is. I love him. I mean, I hated him the first like few seasons. I but I didn't... also always had like a. You're funny. I feel okay? like you guys told me like you didn't like him. So then in my head, I'm like, I'm not going to like him. But every I'm like, I like him. Every I season he grew on I me more not... and more. I like him. So now him and Amanda are my two favorites on yes. the entire s- series. Yeah. Amanda, she took me a minute. Now I finally am like, okay. Yeah. Like this winter house. I'm finally yes. starting to be like, oh, I kind of like you. No, I I love them and I love them together as a. He's as such time a bro. On. He Kyle, if you're out up. there, he's we getting love you. so drunk. Oh God, eating chips, when he's eating talking chips to him, falling asleep, <laughs> and I'm just like, oh my God, I've been there. Yeah. Like Kyle, Kyle is someone that I would want to just like party with. Yeah, he'd be fun because we would just get into. it. I mean, I wonder what would happen. I would love to see it. That'd be fun. Kyle, Kyle. let's let's just party. Have some lover One boys. night in Montauk. <laughs> lover boy. Okay, we've both tried lover boy. Yep. But unfortunately they don't sell it where we film. No. Nope. At this time. Unfortunately. Um, and I really liked it. I did too. Yeah. I did. I there's some flavors I really want to try. I've only tried like two. And I've only tried two. Yeah. And that's because that's all they were selling at the mm-hmm. store when I bought it. But I mean, I would love to try all of them. I I find it really cool that he just kind of started this from the ground up. And he's and, a hard worker, like with it. Yep. Yeah. And the name is pretty lover boy. Sick. So lover great. boy. I love that. And it works so well for Kyle him and his brand. And Amanda, just send us a shirt or something, and 
a case of lover boy yeah send us some lover boy we would love to love to drink it on the show and let yeah. everybody know what we think about all the flavors because i haven't and a t-shirt would just all. be fun they got some cool merch they mm-hmm. do have some cool mm-hmm. merch they're just fun Shoot. i love those too i do Shoot. not like Lindsay and carl though Ooh. I've always wanted to like Carl, but then I'm like, why are you settling for her? Ugh. Yeah. Lindsay Barf. Here's the funny thing. I was standing up for both Carl and Lindsay for a long time. And I remember uh Auntie was like coming mm-hmm. at me because I was like, I still I still just love Lindsay. Ugh. Because of the drama she started and because she would call it how it is. And then the more you watch, the more you're like, oh my gosh, you're a manipulative bitch. Mm-hmm. I don't like Lindsay. No. It's bad. It's really, really bad and toxic. And I heard she's not. She's not nice to fans. Not mm. nice to production. That's sad. A lot of things that just puts her in such a negative light. And then you see Carl standing up for her so much. It's like, okay, so y- y- that and mm-hmm. y- he's not exactly who he portrayed himself as no. for all this time either. You know, and I don't know. I get he's been through a lot. Yeah. You know, he lost his brother to addiction, and then he was addicted, and it's a lot. It's good for him, but it's like, I just don't think Lindsay was the right... No. Because she was a drunk worse oh, than he was, almost. And she starts the fights when she's drunk. She's uh-huh. mean drunk. Uh-huh. Mean, mean, mean. And, you know, Ugh. I don't know. The whole thing with Carl is, like, if you want to be sober, 100%. Congratulations. Uh-huh. Great. And put fantastic, yourself in that situation. Good for you. Don't put yourself in that house. Mm-mm. Just back away. Maybe maybe you can come up with some other show or something. Or come and visit once. Yeah, come summer. visit every once in a while. But don't be there. Mm-mm. Because you'll see in this last season, like, I mean, it just. Season seven? It's such a, uh, it's such a huge <laughs> roadblock and just constant drama that's unnecessary. Because him and Kyle, do they get into something? Yeah. Yeah, that makes me sad. Because Carl starts working for Loverboy. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it just causes, there's a lot of drama. But yeah, Summer House, I mean, if you haven't watched it. Watch it. Give it a watch. It's it's pretty entertaining. and It is. I mean, messy. If you like the. It's just good. And if you it, like the party mess. It makes you want to drink rosé. It makes you want to drink oh. the lover boy. It makes you want to go to Montauk. It makes you want to go to the Hamptons. It makes you want to. Espresso martinis. Like, oh. I want to try one of those now. Have you ever Any, had one of those? No. And anytime I watch it, it's funny. It could be any time of day, but when I'm watching it, I just want to be drinking with them. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is bad. It's only like 12 o'clock and I want to be just like sipping these drinks with these guys. Yeah. And I just wonder like how they're not hung over every morning. And maybe they are. They just don't show that. Yeah. Like some mornings you can tell they're like, fuck. Like, ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And they're cleaning and stuff. One uh, last thing about it. Maybe yeah. we'll go on from this too. I don't know. But Luke. Yeah. I like Luke. Yeah, Minnesota boy. I don't boy. love everything he did. He's kind of douchey at some parts, but yeah. overall, I think he's an, he he's harmless. Oh, 100%. And that, what is it, Jessica? Yes, in the in Winter season House two drama. Of Winter House. What a psycho. I mean, it was bad. It yeah. really was. You know, I, I get I get when people are like talking to you or all over you and you, you're not into it, mm-hmm. but like you also have to speak up because mm-hmm. Luke's not going to be able to read your mind. No. Okay, he and didn't know. He wasn't trying to like <laughs> maliciously try to come no. after you or hit on you or be creepy. I don't think. I don't think so either, he and I don't know thought... him personally, but it did not. It did not seem like no. that when I was watching it. He truly, I think he truly thought she liked him, but then because she told him she did, she got like <laughs> so... we, like how she's kind of like uh, like yeah, it was weird. And, and then Corey came along, and then she was like, "Oh, I'm not into you anymore, yeah. Luke. I'm into Corey." And Corey's friend Craig, I'm Night, not a fan. Craig. I'm not a he fan. was really, I feel like, fake in Summer House because he wanted everybody to like him, like him, yeah, and accept and, him. And, and now he's a whole different. I pay for cleaners. I shouldn't have to clean up. Right? Okay, Craig. Right. And I haven't seen Southern Charm, which is either. what he is on. Uh, and now he's dating Paige. And I mean, I've heard all the stories about how he he his ex told him he would never amount to anything in the industry that he works uh-huh. in. And he ended up starting his big pillow company or something where he makes pillows and things. And he did really well. He has a whole business. But like, I don't know. It's just the way he acts is just so toxic douchey. and douchey. And like, there's not any redeeming qualities. And honestly, yeah. when you watch the next season, he becomes whiny Ugh. where it's like, well when are we gonna get married oh she's gonna leave me oh this 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 and Paige is just like bro 
he's like the chill girl. we've been dating for like a year <laughs> calm down and i just i don't like that and i don't no. like him that much and he what does he say i came from nothing so i know no, and it's like no bro i don't care if you came from nothing you Act can like clean up like how after he's yourself. like here's 500 dollars for us taking the room and here you go uh Amanda. i know like, like what and kyle was even like yeah what night night did not enjoy Ew. that he's just a icky person but i feel friend. like i feel like we could talk about them quite a bit yeah his um, friend the other one i do cory nope Oh, the other one. That's with Sierra. Was with Sierra. Austin mm-hmm. hated him. Night night. Couldn't Austin. stand him. Does he come? He comes. To he summer. comes back every he once in a while. He comes to Winter House, doesn't he? Yeah, I think so. He's from Southern Charm. Yep. I got. Couldn't watch that stand next. him. Couldn't stand him, and I think why Corey came in season two was mm-hmm. because people don't like Austin. Because Austin was canceled, so then they brought in Corey. Gotcha. It's just a whole bunch of drama. But if you haven't watched it, watch it. Watch and if it. you want us to, we could probably do a deep dive on all things Summer House. But uh, I think we can move on to to some other stuff. Um, what do you think? I mean, is there a housewife you want to talk about? If I start talking about it, I can't stop. I know. I Melissa know. Gorg is my favorite. Oh, Real New Housewives Jersey. of New Jersey. Yep. Her and, and that's, Joe. That's probably the one I know the most. Yes, her and Joe, about. I love them. I, I no, I don't. I'm... I strongly dislike Teresa. Yep, that's. I, I don't want to say hate because <laughs> you know who I hate, Louis. Oh gosh, yeah, he's a he's a scary he's person. Scary. He's scary. I talked about it on Go to Bed with Johnny, mm-hmm. and you know, I I was joking to some mm-hmm. extent, but also everything that came out of my mouth was just how I felt. No, he's, he's scary. scary. He's a scary person, and Teresa. I feel like they're gonna be divorced in the next. Next year, year or mm-hmm. two, for sure, because he's he's cuckoo for cocoa puffs. Oh, I mean, like the man is face. nuts. And I feel like Joe and Melissa, they really did give him a chance. Yeah, and it seems I like they your, gave both of them multiple. I wear chances. your dad's pajamas to bed. Like well, he's like, such what? a creep. Bodito's got something on everyone in here. But uh, you need to start that from the beginning. Like Teresa's never been fully nice to Melissa. I feel like, really? like Joe has always tried to. Please her too, and Melissa, and it's just like finally yeah. she has a voice this season, Melissa. That I'm like, yeah, you go, girl. And ev- it seems like no. everyone who watches is backing Melissa I for the most so. part. I can't. Right? And Dolores, I'm pissed at her for. Nah, is I don't she like the one whose son worked mm-hmm. with Louis? She's taken, and she's like, "Don't talk about my son." Mm-hmm. Okay. And then like, Louis said something, and then he's like, "I didn't say that." And then he says it the next day. I can't remember what. It was. Oh, the files. What is that? What is yeah, that? it was like he's got files on everyone, and then he was like, I was drunk. Mm-hmm. It didn't mean anything, but then, then the next day the he's next sober day. in the morning, and he's like, just wait until Bo Deedle's files come out or whatever, and you're just like, bro. And Dolores is right there. I'm like, Dolores, come on. Like, that whole thing, it doesn't make sense to me how mm-hmm. how that continues, and then there's like all of these these talks about who's going to be on the next season and who's not. But Are they both? Back. They're all back on. Everybody's back. So, th- and that's funny because, you know, people were like, don't bring Louie and Teresa no, back. And don't. filming is going to be, because Margaret Marge, she has said like she's scared to tape with him. With Louie? Yeah. Yeah. And people are kind of giving her a hard time, but I'm like, I agree with her. I wouldn't want to tape with that psycho. No. And uh, how but- long has Louie been on? Two seasons? One and a half. One and a half. And there maybe. was that whole video, the the season before this last one. Uh, maybe he was two seasons. Him on the beach. Yeah. He's just doing it for <laughs> He for knew. Fame. He mm-hmm. knew what he was he doing. He knows a lot about the housewives and <sighs> researched and yuck. It's yuck, just, yuck, yuck. I mean, and you can't talk. Uh, unfortunately, Teresa, she's iconic when it comes to housewives and real housewives of New Jersey. Mm-hmm. I mean, I just I, can't stand her. I I knew of her table flip mm-hmm. before I even knew what Real Housewives was. Mm-hmm. So like she's iconic, but after seeing the the actions and like even I really only watched fully the reunion of mm-hmm. this latest season mm-hmm. and a couple of episodes throughout, but the way she acts is just like sickening. She's not nice. No, and she talks so so much about family mm-hmm. and how important it is, but then she goes and treats her brother and sister in law like garbage garbage like she's a for this new man that she doesn't know anything about she dated him for a, a few months and then got married pretty much yeah you had a you just have to watch the whole season series because yeah. their mom and dad like nona they call him nona, nona okay no no 
no, 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 no. Yes, and he and passed. I love RIP. him. Yes, like he's in there until just recently. I feel like the last really three to four years. He will love him. Yeah, yeah, he's a bro. Ah, uh, but you gotta start that one from the beginning and just see how Teresa's always. I mean, kind of been cuckoo for Cocoa kind of, Puffs. Yeah, because she went to jail. She does anything the guys tell her to do. I don't know what that's really? called. Like manipulated easily. I don't yeah. know. She just. Falls hard, maybe. Yeah, I don't don't know. I just don't. Teresa's not. And I've always tried to be a fan, but yeah, I just I'm not on board with her. Is her ex still in jail? No, he is. He got deported. Like, to where do they? Where are they from? What? What is their? What is their? Is it span? It's not Spanish. Italian, maybe. No, I think they're Italian. No, 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 no. Yeah, Yeah, that's that's Italian. He's over there somewhere. Really. Mm-hmm. Interesting, because he went to prison. She went to prison mm-hmm. for tax evasion. Tax evasion, and he was not nice to her either. Kind of, if you watch, like yeah. he's kind of a dink to her. So I feel bad. Like there's parts, but then I'm like, get out of this. Yeah, and I mean, everybody's telling you, right? Red flags mm-hmm. flying. I don't know. I I don't feel as bad for her after seeing this this latest reunion because she's just. She's, she's nasty. Just mean. She was not nice. That's the worst I've ever seen her. She's just mean. And Andy, I've I've never seen him have to get so uh-uh. vocal and so like stop. Yeah. Stop. stop. Like I would love to hear what someone else has to say about this. Like Did she call her a bitch too? Oh yeah. She she called Melissa one and oh, Melissa. Yeah. She was I loved how like I mean she called her a lot of things throughout that thing. <sighs> that's sad. And then to sit there, that's like your sister calling your wife. And like, she would just say even... something and Melissa would come back and be like, but you just said this. And she's like, well, 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 you know, like this is the last time I'm going to talk to my brother. Okay. <laughs> and you're just like, shut up, Teresa. Yeah, like you're just to... digging your hole. And she's like, Keep my name out of your mouth. Well, okay. And then she's storming off like, oh, okay, you're so dramatic. Call, call Gia or whatever her name is. That's it. I was just going to say, I don't love how Gia's like, as she should stand by her mom, but she should. But I remember, Joe I remember specifically there. watching an episode where Gia blows up on Joe mm-hmm. at a pool party or mm-hmm. something, and I just remember being so uncomfortable and like, why are you, why are you blowing up on your uncle like this? <laughs> yeah, it was like, watch yourself, little girl. You're you're younger than she's these like people. what twenty one. 21, 22. Yeah. 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 She's young. And she just, uh, she, I, I get it. You've mm-hmm. grown up with the cameras and the drama all around you all the time. You're going to put up an act a little bit when the cameras are on. Well, that, and she's probably had a choice now if she wants to be on it or not. So don't yeah. be on it then if you don't want. 100%. All the stuff that comes along with it. 100%. And then she's like, don't bring my daughters into this. Don't you bring my daughter into this. Okay. Well, your daughter signed you a release in, to yeah. be into the show. And you brought up Antonia. So that's Melissa's daughter. I could like that is one I was so close to meeting her too. I mean, she, since episode one, you've been talking about how much you love mm, Melissa. I so love Melissa. that's been over a year now almost. And uh, here we are still standing strong with Melissa. Yes, I love her. <laughs> she's my favorite housewife, which is so funny to me. Like, the, the, she's always been your favorite. Well, before I watched Jersey, I think it would have been. Probably Tamara and Vicky and Shannon. I know Tamara. I love those three from the OC. They're my favorites, too. I like Tamara. She tells it how it is. Mm-hmm. She don't give a shit. <laughs> I do like her. Uh, there's so, She's funny. There's so many Yeah, I could go housewives. through each. I just, you need to catch up so that we can talk about our favorites and least favorites yeah. in each franchise. Because... Yeah. I know. Uh, easy, I've easy, seen easy. a little bit of Atlanta. And that one I've... I'm try that's the last one I kinda gotta catch up on and I mean they keep it real. I like them. Mm-hmm. Uh I've seen I've seen little bits and pieces of a little bit of everything I feel like mm-hmm. here and there. Beverly I Hills. know a lot of them from Beverly Hills. Yeah, Vanderpump was in that one. Lisa, which I love her. Okay. I do too. Lisa Vanderpump's one of my favorites. When you told me she got slapped I know. in Real Housewives, I was like that's a queen who the hell slaps lisa? lisa vanderpump her and her husband what's her what's her husband's name uh ken yep and then jiggy 
Yes. He, he's, is he still alive even? Yeah, Jiggy's still alive. Jiggy, I, I think love, so. I think I that's the dog she it. has. She's playing poker with Jiggy, Jiggy at the yeah, World, yeah, World yeah. Series of Poker. Like, she went viral because she had the dog laying Jiggy. on the... It's hilarious. She's great. I love how... And her... What's her daughter's name? Portia? I think so. Portia, and then she just had a grandchild or something. This has been a minute, probably. Yeah. But can you imagine how spoiled that grandchild is? Oh, I'm sure. But, you know, Lisa, she's a baller, man. She's got all of these spinoff shows now. She's got Vanderpump Mm -hmm. Rules. uh, Literally has her last name in the Mm -hmm. title, which good for her. Now she's got two new spinoffs coming out, I think. One that's like her villa somewhere. Yep. That's going to be on Hulu, which is crazy. It's not on Bravo. Or Peacock. Weird. Uh, and then you've got the Vanderpump Rules spinoff that's going to follow, like, Jax Taylor and Britney mm-hmm. and all of these people who have, like, kids and, like, adult lives now but I mean, came from Vanderpump Rules. Yep. Uh, so good for her. She's got new restaurants opening up. I, did you ever go to the Caesars Vanderpump with us? Yes. Yes. I love that yes. place. And now I, she has a new one open. And... Yep. In Paris. Oh, uh... I walked by it and I said, <laughs> I'll be back. What is it? Vanderpump La Perie? La Perie, yeah. Uh, and uh, Garcelle mm, mm-hmm. from Beverly Hills. Her son works there. That's crazy. Oliver. I, wanna, yeah, I don't know why. That's I so random. Why does she work? Th- why does he work there? Like, know. how did that happen? Well, Beverly Hills. Maybe there's that twist where she's Garcelle's close with yeah. Lisa. I don't know. But. I mean, I I respect what she's doing. She's in a lot of news right now for like mm-hmm. different like money stuff. Like can't pay off. Lisa. Yeah, oh, can't no. pay different bills and stuff. It kind of wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, I mean, a uh, pump in wherever closed in Los Angeles yeah. or whatever that closed. But then it might surprise me. I don't know. She has so much going on. For yeah. Her, but and now with this this scandal drama, she's got tons of Emmy noms. Oh. Yeah, like Vanderpump Rules got some Emmy no- nominations for for all of this <laughs> scandal drama, you know, and it was a lot. And she got mm-hmm. some heat for trying to trying to help out Tom and th- this stuff. And I mean, there's a lot, but I understand where Lisa comes from because she is the mediator. She's like the mother figure for all of these yep. people. You know, these are all just like adult children that are horny and drunk. I gotta watch it. It's a lot, but. Lisa gets a lot of flack because, you know, she's got to somehow be Switzerland in all of this and mediate all of their I drama. Like she's so poised and so, like... Oh, I would love to I meet her I and just, too. like, have a combo with her about all things business yeah. and life just because she seems like she's so smart mm-hmm. and so, like, well... My friend, act, a friend from high school, like, I haven't talked to her probably in a few years, she has a picture with her at the airport. She ran into her at the what Minneapolis she, airport. What was she doing there? I don't know. Probably flying to the Hamptons or somewhere. I don't know, but I couldn't even believe Where's it. Where's she from? I don't know. She has an English. She's she got has an like English an accent. accent. Yeah. We'd have to look that up. See where she's from. I love Lisa. I do too. Uh, I think she's She's great. classy. I'm going to try lemon next. Mm. Uh, no, but Vanderpump, like, I would suggest watching the last season, but not all of it. It's, it's, I think you'll get a good enough recap in the last season, and then you can watch this new one that they're filming right now with all of the cast. Everybody's yeah, back. Do. Raquel changed her name people? back to her legal name, Rachel. Oh. Tom is back. Lots Here's... of TMZ clips of Tom. Uh, Ariana's busy because she's going to be in Dancing with the Stars. She's got mm-hmm. a guest appearance on Love Island. Uh, uh Oh shit! Did you hear that? Uh, and then there's Tom Scandable, who has mm-hmm. been getting in lots of fights with Tom Schwartz, which Tom Tom, those are the besties, those two bros. Yeah, I was like, weren't they besties, and now they're fighting? Because Tom Schwartz is kind of like, no, you know what, Tom? You said some really messed up stuff. You've mm-hmm. done messed up stuff. Which, in that reunion, if you watch literally just the season ten or whatever this was reunion, you'll be like. Oh my god, you are like the worst type of human. Because mm, he says bad. some things. He's like talking about the last time him and Ariana hooked up or something. Ariana didn't take it, her shirt off, and she, he like says like, "Yeah, it was really hot. Like she didn't take her shirt off the whole time." 
and you just Ew. like tense up when he says these things because mm-hmm. he's in the wrong. Everybody knows that he's in the wrong. He literally cheated on his girlfriend that he was like by common law yeah. married to. Yuck. 10 years together, you know, and he's just a sick, gross human and he's still just touring playing music Ugh. in his cover band and acting like nothing happened when TMZ comes up he acts like nothing happened it's just gross yeah you he's a he's a little worm night, night. as as James Kennedy would say poopy head doo doo head both of you doo doo heads i just don't love that <laughs> i don't love that no but whatever shoot i got to watch that and catch up go. and i like this a lot you like lemon lemon and coconut i'll mm-hmm. try that one next uh, Almost done but yeah, uh, you know, just to quickly talk about this, I guess, in the last few minutes, a little off of Bravo, but the Kardashians, mm-hmm. that's a huge reality show, been on for... I used to always watch that. Oh, and see, I didn't really watch it that much when it was on uh, E! Um, until mm-hmm. recently. I would catch a few episodes with my mom and sister when they would watch it, but I never watched it no. religiously. And now I'm obsessed I love it. with the Kardashians. I don't know why... But this last year, I started like binge watching all of the early seasons of Keeping Up, and then Hulu had their new yeah. show. What's so, the new show? Just Kardashians why on it, Hulu. Why is it different? I suppose change the name for legal reasons because they switched TV stations okay. or yeah, whatever yeah. to streaming. But I think I started honestly with the first season of Kardashians on mm-hmm. Hulu instead of starting with Keeping Up. So I watched mm-hmm. all of Kardashians. But then when I was done with that, I'm like, I I need more, right? So then I went and I binged like every season of Keeping Up. And I'm like, I'm obsessed. You got to watch Courtney and Chloe take. Uh, they go I know. To Florida or something, Miami. I remember when they went to Miami yeah. within the the regular seas- series. Yeah, watch that one. Is it on any streaming? I feel like it's probably on the same one that Keeping Up is so. on, but. Uh, no, and I've been watching obviously Kardashian season three has just dropped on hulu for kardashians Mm -hmm. and uh this new season they've been trying to to bring back that same level of drama and everything that that they were missing in the first two seasons because everybody was like they're unrelatable you can't relate to the kardashians anymore because why well they're all just hopping on their private jets they're all just i don't think i can relate to them in general no and i feel like you never really could but i feel like the first few seasons it was closer to Mm -hmm. to grasping yeah whereas now it's like you hop on your private jet to go to bali every week like okay you're working with dolce and cabana next week like it's too much right so uh, this latest season has been more look like it's still <laughs> completely unrelatable, uh, but it has felt closer to mm-hmm. what the old seasons have been like. I feel like. Yeah, I just don't. I need to maybe get back into it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Rob like hasn't been on obviously for a, a while Why? since Keeping Up. There was some blow up, and obviously Black China and him. Oh. And Black China sued Rob's mm-hmm. sisters for defamation on keeping oh, really? up with the Kardashians for millions of dollars. Mm. And uh, Chloe and Courtney and Kim and Chris, I think, all won that lawsuit. So uh, in this latest episode that I saw, mm-hmm. uh, they were throwing Rob's daughter's birthday party. So Dream's birthday party. And they asked Chloe, like, do you think Rob will ever be back on the show? And Chloe is like, he talks about it all the time. So I think he will eventually come back. And that I was like, mm-hmm. Oh, I don't even really like Rob, but I kind of want him to come back. Her and Rob are very close. <laughs> yeah. I remember. Because Rob lived with her mm-hmm. and Lamar. Lamar. So that was cool. I and just, it's so weird. Scott, what are your thoughts on Scott? I Disick? love Scott. The Lord Disick. Oh my gosh. I love him. I do. I do too. I love him. And oh shit, both of them went out. Oh no, it's telling us to wrap it up. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, no, but uh, a lot of people don't like Scott for uh, obvious it. reasons. Mm-hmm. You know, he's he was a cheater. A he was bit. a doucher. Like, but I don't know. He's a bro. He's kind of like a Kyle. <sighs> yeah, just a bro. Like you could hang with him. Yeah, and you know, in the newest series, he's. I can't help but to like mm-hmm. laugh because he's funny, which mm-hmm. he was throughout all of Keeping Up. I mean, he made me laugh all the time. 
Uh, and he's just himself. And I feel I like bad for him. How him and Chloe were like bros, kind of. And they yeah. still, still are. are. And yeah. it's funny, this latest season, him, Chloe, and Kim yeah. are just bros. And they're hanging out. They went to get margaritas and just get I Mexican stand. food. I, Kim is and... hard. She's a hard one for me. Maybe she's gotten better. but And I, I would like to see what uh, you think after watching this newest stuff. Maybe. Because she's brutal. She always yeah. has been. But she's far less... Uh, not far less self-centered, but like it's not as apparent. Yeah, it Oof, doesn't yeah. feel as apparent watching it, you know. Whereas those few seasons in Keeping Up, you're like, "Oh, Kim, I can't like, stand it's, her." It's gross. And now I feel like Kim and Chloe, I like more than I like Courtney now, which is really that's crazy. crazy. That is crazy because it was always Chloe and Courtney for me. Yeah. And Court is just, you know, she's got Travis now, and it's a lot. It's it's a lot of drama. And... I'm going to have to watch it. Yeah, but that's some reality TV that I've been watching. Big Brother is another one we watch. Oh, can't we? we could do a whole episode on Big Brother, really I feel could. like. I did uh, send in an audition mm-hmm. for this newest season of Big Brother. I did not get a call. That's fine. First try. Yeah, and I mean, they're going to know who I am now the next time I send an audition. But... I, that's the one reality show that I, I would want to be on. I mean, I kind of want to be at it, too. I don't think I'd be good at it. Really? I'd love to be on it. So I don't think I'd be great at the, the, the physical comps, but I think my social game would be pretty yeah. strong. I don't know what I'd be good at. Probably but... the social aspect, too. We'd go in there and be friends with everybody, but then I could be, I know I can be a bit bitchy sometimes. You got to be, so, though. But, yeah, sometimes. Hmm. Maybe I would be good. I don't know. I mean, I just respect that game so much and like just the 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 mental like capacity uh-huh. it takes to like go through and do all that and all of the steps you have to oh, I can't go even... through plus do the physical comps plus do the 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 brain comps and every it's just yeah, a lot. Yeah, the brain stuff I would be like memorizing things and Ooh, that. I'd memorization be out. competitions like night night. Uh. I, I would like to think I could do them, but probably, <laughs> probably I know, when not. I play like through my TV, I'm like, oh, I got it. And then I'm like, oh. I, and I surprise myself on the things I remember because I'm never looking for it. Mm-hmm. But then I'm also like, if I'm in there like looking for things to remember, I'm going to forget everything. But and the, like, the ones where you have to be on the balance wheel, I'd fall and break something. I'm oh, sure. Jesus. And the, the one where First game, the I'd be like Christmas and break my foot. Yeah, you remember the water her? up. I remember oh, Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be on my butt the whole time. The dark room one where you're like going through the the dark room, I'd, feeling I'd around. Cry. I would probably have a, a little bit of a panic attack because I'm like, what am I touching? What, what is, is it? Otev, that one. I love. Oh, that's what I would I love, love to play. Otev. Not that. Bro. I mean, I've loved Big Brother since I was real young. And I didn't get on it till like, I mean, Wade watched it a lot without me. Okay. Like, what are you watching? It's like Big Brother. I'm like, I'm good. And then finally, one time I sat down, and I'm like, this is really good. No, Everett's into it. <laughs> Because it's just entertaining, mm-hmm. you know? It's a mix of reality and competition mm-hmm. and everything. They're all locked up in this house, you know, and have that, to live together. That and... would be hard for me, I think, to be locked up and not be able to go outside while they're setting things up like oh. that. I would, that I would feel claustrophobic and get me out. Yeah. Well, shoot. We could talk about this forever, I think. I feel like I watch more reality TV than I like to admit. Love is blind. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's a lot. So if you guys want us to go more in depth on any certain mm-hmm. reality show and want us to, you know, spill the tea and say bravo. Yep. Just let us know in the comments. We would love to. I mean, we watch pretty much every <laughs> re- like for the most part, I think between the two of us, we've probably seen almost every single yeah, reality. You tell TV me to watch it. And I'm like, OK, yeah, let's, let's give have it a Have you ever try. watched The Circle on Netflix? No, what's that? <sighs> It's like Big Brother, but you don't see each other. It's all social media. It, it's a lot. Oh, I'll have to try that. <laughs> There's so many reality okay. shows, and I feel like together we've probably seen yeah. a majority of them. Um, so let us know what you want us to talk about when it comes to reality TV. I would love to dive in deep on like one series and, in particular. You know, Kyle, Amanda, hit us up. Lover boy. Oh. Melissa Gorga. Andy Cohen. All of you. Oh, we love you. We, we do. love you all. Lisa Vanderpump. All of you. Love you. Jiggy. Ya. Tom Scandival, suck it. Oh, night night. You Tim. worm. Tom. Tim. Tim. <laughs> Who's Tim? Who's I don't Tim? Know. Oh my gosh. Anywho, uh, this is typically the point when we would 
Mm-hmm. Read hate comments. But we don't have any. <laughs> yeah, that's no right. That's right. Lots of lovers out there. There was one I sent you an auntie about somebody that like. I'm like, does Ella like us? Oh yeah, Ella was Ella laughing at she our joke. We funny. Yeah, what were we talking I was about? Something about you. I said something to you. Yeah, you you said. Um, oh geez, let me find it here. Uh, Ella said. You would go. You would go do it if you wanted. And she was laughing because you were talking about me joining the red light district. <laughs> and I go, they go do it, didn't I? Yeah, you go. You would. You would do it if you wanted to. And yeah. I go, yeah, I would. I Just would. Go do it. it was <laughs> so there's no classy. hater comments. That's no. okay. Well, cheers to the lovers. Yeah, bravo. Bravo. But shoot, uh, without any of that, we need something to fill the time. And there is an app that, you know, I've been on since college mm-hmm. uh, that my friends got me on. And we, oh, Jesus. I think in the hot tub we were talking about it one time. Yeah, because we were talking Weird. about astrology yep. and it became more of a thing in our lives where we were like following it yep. and stuff. And the app is CoStar. Um, <laughs> you gotta <laughs> read what today's is. Oh, God. I haven't read it yet. I haven't opened my CoStar today. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you and Hunter. Oh, you hardly know your depths. Very true. Oh, you and Hunter Benjamin as figures in a dream. You can fly, but you can't land. Hunter <gasps> Benjamin is perched atop a waterfall. You team up to explore the surreal landscape. Oh my God, what? I mean, we did kind of go on top of the world yesterday when we were rummage sailing. Were we on a, were we on a landscape? Mm-hmm. Yours didn't pop up on mine today. Uh-oh. Why? I don't know. I Shouldn't got other always? random people. I don't know. This my my like first part says turn to those closest to you and say you need a life in common. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay. Uh mine just says you hardly know your depths, your own depths, which oh, is very nice. Thank you. But uh I also get this. So it tells you what you have power in, pressure in, and trouble in for that day. And today I have power in routine, thinking and creativity. And sex and love. Where do you go for that part? That's on your you page there. Let me go back to it. You. I was looking at the one and I then you the other time. I have pressure in spirituality. Oh. Hmm. But I have trouble with social life and self. Funny you say that. Power and routine, thinking and creativity, spirituality and sex and love. <gasps> okay. Pressure and social life. <gasps> Are you feeling pressured in your social life? No. Trouble with self. Oh my gosh. You have more in your power in though. I have more in my pressure and trouble. <laughs> you want to stay in, but you have an obligation to attend to and nobody agrees with you. <laughs> Is that this? Was this your obligation? Probably was. Oh, you shit. know, like in the summer when I'm in my summer mode, it's hard to like do my hair and put makeup on. I don't yeah, want to do it. I get you. I don't, but yeah. I know. Uh, main challenge right now is- <laughs> mine says today something you've been working on or struggling with for some time is coming to a head. <gasps> have you been worked? Have you been doing that? What? Like, is it coming to an head? A head? I don't know what I've been working on. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? God? <laughs> am I famous? Thumpa. Am I rich? What are my goals? <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Oh, my God. Uh, no one gets your sense of humor. Oh, no. They usually don't. But you do. I do. Yeah. Uh, your belief that you're so different from everyone else is making you become a hermit. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Night, night. What's uh, the one I sent you the other day, though? There was a good take one. Take it easy. Let someone break the rules with you. Oh, what should oh, we do? Well, something against the do. rules. What can we do? I feel like I do a lot of things. I'll flash the camera right now. No, I'm kidding. No, I would not. never. Don't you do it? I would never. Yeah, you would. Oh, this month I'm ready to practice self control. <laughs> never. Oh, this one. This was a funny one. This is a while back. It says you and Hunter Benjamin understand each other through what you share in common. You usually get along well, sharing a sense of what brings happiness and beauty. You have a secret devil on their shoulder while Hunter Benjamin hurts their own feelings. Make <gasps> plans for a collective project. Oh, my God. You're the one? That you... was how long ago, though, I sent it. What are you doing up there? I don't know. I sent it to you. I squashed you. 3.35 p.m. on, I don't know what day. <laughs> uh, oh last Thursday. That feels like that was literally a month ago that I you know, sent that. I know. 
Oh time my flies God. when you're having a good time. Co-star is great, though. Yeah, check uh, it out. It's fun. Check it out at us. Don't. I don't want to be your friend on Co-star. I like astrology. Yeah. It's been fun. There's yeah. a new moon, apparently. Well, uh, not really, by the time you see this. No, isn't that new moon still the moon? Yeah, it's going to be for like a year and a half or something. Yeah. Like so, the nodes in the south and the north have changed. and The nodes? Not those nodes. The south oh. node and the north node. <laughs> <laughs> not those nodes. No pitch perfect. Oh, my gosh. I have nodes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No. Oh, and do, you Libra, remember, do you remember when, uh, was it Justin Timberlake that had nodes? No. I don't remember who had nodes, but. Well. I have notes. Coaster oh <laughs> is great, though. Yeah, so... uh will <laughs> get Coaster. Shoot. Well, guys, I think that's about all that we have for you today. I feel like we could have just gone on for hours, yeah, honestly. I kind of can't wait to go watch the rest of my winter house and yeah, house and finish I feel that like, up. I feel like you guys got to tell us which, which show you want us to talk about because we could deep dive into any of these i think even the ones i haven't seen i'm ready i could go watch yeah me too shoot so i mean um, i got a list to do kardashian southern charm vanderpump i got a lot to do yeah i got a time left i have a lot in the sense of the fact that the shows that i need to watch all have like 13 plus seasons (laughs) well you start with one go to the next yeah i should start with new york since it's an all new cast but (laughs) <laughs> what i would start with for you not it's not my favorite franchise but salt lake city because it's the shortest one yeah it's only four seasons. but you also said to start with uh beverly, beverly hills, hills because you know all of them yeah i know them so lisa, i think yeah you would like that lisa, one i know both lisa's with that's lisa a longer Renna, mm-hmm. yeah so both lisa mm-hmm. renna and lisa vanderpump were on there yep <gasps> but they're both not anymore now what's lisa renna doing I don't know. Okay. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> I know. We could talk this forever. Is what we, yeah. yeah. Uh, but shoot. Uh, let us know what you guys want to hear, and we'll talk about mm-hmm. it. But... I think you vowed to watch Beverly Hills, and I'll go watch Kardashians. <gasps> All three seasons? All three. I know you have more, but just. I'll do it. I'll even go back and watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians, because I haven't finished. I don't. I think I stopped watching. Really? I got over it. Oh, my God. Because I think I couldn't stand Kim, but. Yeah. It's either here nor there, so. But anywho, yeah. bravo to us. We spilt the tea. Uh, and we can't wait to talk to you guys next time. <laughs> next time. Who knows uh, what it'll be about. Yeah, Probably we about will. Probably in somewhere. So. Nay, Ooh, nay. That was a good click. <gasps> Anywho, uh, we will see you guys next time. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, leave your comments, Mm -hmm. and we will talk to you guys with a brand new episode of Malibu Nights in about two weeks. All right? And as always, night night. night. Bravo to us. (laughs) Go to bed with Johnny. Dak Buster. Malibu Malibu Nights. Will you talk dirty to me? Different unique takes on movies and TV shows. A word, because every episode is a drinking game built in. Always. Uh. Is this the it puts the lotion on? (laughs) Also in the news, we've got it's not a juicy bear. That is someone's burger. Ah, The Red Bull enhances the drunkness. Uh Huh?